All right, guys, we're in a new creek, a different creek. This doesn't have a whole lot of flow into it, just a little bit down here, but we've got some calmer water down here. So we're gonna try this, give this creek a try with the cane pole, see if we can get some creek chubs out of here. Set you guys down here. All right. I'm just using a Itty bitty bobber, eight hook, there's a little dab of night crawler. Now these creek chubs aren't picky, so you can use a lot of variety of baits for these creek chubs. There's one already. Oh, small one. I'll put my other camera on. I get my other GoPro on here. Get some action here with the other camera. There we go. Whoop. Sorry about my hands there. All right, let's get some creek chubs with this cane pole. Oh, there's a good one there. Look at that. <laughs> That's a nice creek chub. That is beautiful. That's a keeper there. I was hoping to get them hooked quick as soon as that bobber goes down, hook them so they don't swallow this this hook. This hook's pretty small. I'll lay this hook down. We'll get some water in here. Push a little bit in there for now. Oh, buddy. Stick you in there. Put the bubble maker on. Moving my camera all over the place for you guys. Sorry about that. I'm gonna step in the water just a little bit. There we go. Right there. All right. Those are the creek chubs I'm looking for. Some nice, healthy ones. That one I actually came up and attacked my bobber. Another one. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That's a keeper as well. Go ahead and keep you. You gotta be delicate with these creek chubs. Creek chubs it don't take much to kill them. You don't want to squeeze them too hard. Let's go over there a little bit. Cane poles and creek chubs. Gotta love it. Another one. Sweet. <laughs> Oop, keep that out of the water. I want to scare the fish. I'll put you in the bucket. Just my worm. Now we're catching them here. The other creek was just a little too high and there's a lot of current. They might not be in that creek yet, but they're definitely here.
Yeah, I'm really liking this cane pole fishing already. It's it's a lot of fun and oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. A little easier. Simple, easy fishing. <laughs> I can't wait just to see what all species I'll catch this year. I'm gonna try to catch multiple species uh, for 2021 for the cane poles. I'm gonna try to, I use a variety of cane poles. Oh, missed that one. Makes it nice, you can slip between the logs and I'm not incredibly skilled when it comes to throwing lures and stuff between logs and rocks and all that. So since I'm a catfisherman, so I don't throw a whole lot of lures and baits. There we go. Nice. Nice fish. Make some nice bait there. Bait shops will sell these. About a dollar a piece. Depends what size they are. I get my worm adjusted here. Slip whip there in my bobber there. Still on the same same bait. Same chunk of night crawler. I gotta use these night crawlers up. They've been in that box for a while. I'm not sure how long the lifespan is when they're in them boxes like that. Get them to the bait shop. All right, let's get a between right there. I think eventually I'll make it all over on that side. See what we can catch over there as well. It looks up, it's a great creek chub creek because there's water here, number one. Nice pool right here. Look for these opening pools like this. Normally they're two, three, four, sometimes even deeper. You got logs, stuff sticking out. Everybody guarantee there's some creek chubs in here. A little bite there. Just a nibbling on it. We get a snag there. It didn't look like a fish there. Didn't act like no fish there. Get up the current, get hang hung up on something. Creek chubs are fun to catch. They're easy to catch. There's plenty of them. And they make great bait. I've cooked some when I was younger when I was a kid. Like I said, this is one of my first species of fish I've caught when I was, when I was a youngster and First fishing pole, which was no cane pole. I'm sure it was a regular fishing pole. One of my first fishes I ever caught. The creek chub. <laughs> I'm gonna try to sneak in between those logs over there. See if we can get right in there. go. Nice little bump there. Might come back for it. Now he's still there. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, he's a little one. He is an itty bitty one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't want that. after catching these creek chubs I'm gonna venture out and catch see if I can catch some bluegill panfish bluegill sunfish let's see if we get some of them on these on this cane pole and then from there on we'll we'll just step it up a notch we'll just take this pole from Little fish, the big fish. Up to one of my favorite fish, catfish. Let's see if we catch some catfish in this pool. Not breaking it. Here we go. Keep hitting that branch right up there. Got some wind. I'll try it right there once. Just kind of move it around and let you find them. There's one. Oh, fell off. Terry, they fall off pretty easy as well. Come off them hooks pretty easy. That was a little one. He still could be hooked though. I got a pretty small hook on there. Let's see if I can get it back over there. Should we get some of those big ones I just caught earlier? Get some of those, that'd be nice. There's one. Oh, that was a good size one there. That was a good size one. They come off the hook so easy. That's what you got about doing these pools. You just gotta kind of find them. They, they kind of want to school up. Just kind of move your bobber around. I got wind coming against me, so I had a little trouble getting my bobber out there. Wants to blow, blow the bobber back at me. There's a small one that are taking it. It's taking it. It's an itty bitty one. I'll put him back in. Oops. I'll put you back in. I'll get skilled enough here to use this cane pole. It takes a little skill to use them. Get cast out there where you want it and set your hook and bring your fish in. Challenging, I like the challenging part of this, these cane poles is bringing some big carp in, and some good catfish on a cane pole. I've seen, I've heard some people say when you get a big fish on the cane pole, you want to bring it in right away. You don't wrestle it and play with it. <coughs> Sorry about that. Play with it. <clears throat> like you do with a regular fishing pole, like a spinning reel, bait caster, close face reel, whatever reel you have. You want to bring it in right away. I can imagine just straight line, straight stick pull. I can imagine they probably would be able to fight them themselves off of a uh, off your hook. Now I 
changed up my line on this. It did come with six pound line. And since I'm gonna catch just a slightly bigger fish, I don't wanna take my chances of breaking the line or losing losing the fish. So I I got uh, eight pound line on this, eight pound strand line. It's the same kind of line I use for my catfish, but Oh, there's a little one, a bunch of little ones in there. But I used uh, the 40 pound uh, line for my catfish. It's the same brand I use. I've gotten some good luck with it. It gets me to cast out really far. It's the, uh, it's a carbon line is what it is. There we go. Fluorescent carbon line. It's a pretty strong line. I had a lot of luck with it. There's one. That is a pretty fish. Pretty, pretty fish. We'll keep you. You're too pretty. Beautiful day today, 74 degrees today. It's the last time I looked. Water temperature's probably still 60-ish. Close to 60 maybe, 61, 62 degrees. It's warming up. These creek chubs will probably bite better once it starts warming up. Oh, well, that was a, that was a good one too. That was a nice one. Felt the weight on that one. Must be a deep hole right there because I could put it anywhere else. It seems like no bites, but you get them about right there. Now get on that hook. It's a little, just a little creek chub. And a little bitty one. Hook should be small enough. It's just that that night crawler piece of it. it's a little chunky. It's kind of kind of big. Boy, he's just pulling that bobber around. There, I got him. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. Keep you. Put you in the bucket. This is a lot of fun. Go ahead and put a fresh night crawler on there. Sorry for my gross hands here. Wash them off. All right. Let's see if we get another. <laughs> the 
some fresh meat on here, I'll see it'll make a difference. So got another nice pool on the other side of those, all that brush pile. It's like another pool behind there. This looks like it'd be a pretty decent place to get creek chubs. We'll do a couple more casts and we'll make it across the other side of that bridge. There we go. Little one. We'll see if we go get on the side of that bridge, see if we get some bigger ones. This would be little one. We'll throw him back in. Not sure how deep this is, but. Make it across there. Looks pretty shallow. I'm still on the edge here. Take my time here. Sometimes I get in a hurry, but I just slip over. Like I did last, this first part of this video. Just take your time when you're walking these creeks. I've had some dangerous, uh, dangerous encounters, put it that way. Almost coming face down on a big pile of rocks coming down on the embankment of a creek. And coming straight down. Yes, I thank the Lord that day protected me. So we're on down these creeks, take your time. It could be dangerous. You fall on these rocks. There's a nice pool right here. Let's give this a shot and try. What a beautiful sound, isn't it? Look at that. That's beautiful. Nice creek. Here's a nice pool. This is a nice pool here to look for. Look for something like this. It's perfect for creek chubs. Launch it out there. See what we can get. <clears throat> now I got a pull, this is 10 foot. So if I had a 20 footer, I can get out there further. You figured 20 foot pull and 20 foot line, you have a 40 foot throw out there. <clears throat> I do have a 13 foot cane pole that I haven't got rigged up and used yet. That'll be my next thing I'll probably unwrap on the video, next video. There we go, we got a hit there. If we found them, I don't want that current. There we 
go. There we go. There we go. Nice creek chub. I didn't bring my bucket with me, so. I'll throw him back. I got enough bait for now. Just catch something fun. Well, fun anyway. Catch the bait. I'll catch another one. Try to avoid him getting my bait, taking my bait anyway. Huh. I don't know why they're so attracted to that bobber. You come up here and smack that bobber. There we go. Oh, let go. Puts a little bend in the pole for a little, little creek chub. <laughs> there you go. Nice. This is a fun way to catch creek chubs, all I can say about that. <laughs> Definitely plan on doing more of this. Cane pole and creek chubs. Catfish cane poles. I mean, I'm going to do a lot of it this year. So I hope you all follow me and enjoy him with videos because I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a blast. Put her out there once see what happens. I'm having a lot of fun here. That old school fishing, I guess you could say. Quick hit. Oh. Back out there and uh, I'm missing the little ones. <clears throat> They got real soft mouths. They're kind of like carp. There, buddy. <laughs> oh, shoot. In you go. I'll make sure that worm is hanging up there on my line. If you got on my hook, you might be just nibbling on that. Not a whole lot of night crawler left.
There you go. Alright, let's do this again. Love to bring hot dogs down here. Fish for these creek chubs. They love hot dogs. Hot dogs, bread. They pretty much, like I said, they pretty much bite on there about anything. Just about. They're hungry. Nesting. Try to set the hook too hard. I will rip it out of their mouth. Oh, that was a good one there. And he took. He took my bait. Ah. Let's grab more bait. Ah, beautiful, look at how beautiful that is. That's a beautiful crick. You got, like I said, you get a pool like this. Great place to find some good bait. Creek chubs. Excellent place. You can fish here all day. I'm gonna shut you guys off here. All right, I went up and changed my hook out. I got me a little longer. I like using these for creek chubs. It's got the longer uh, camera shank on it. So you can get it out. It's a number eight hook, but it's got the longer shank. We were on the camera there. Oh, it's in there. There it is. But yeah, this will this will help out a lot. Get it out of their mouth. It's a little easier. So I took the original hook off that came with this pole. Which is fine. You have to necessarily keep using the same thing what comes with your pole, but change things up a little bit. It'll be good to go. Let's see we catch some little creek chubs here. I had to go back and get more bait as well. I walked way back here with this same bait I had on my hook. So we're back on now. I'm gonna take this bobber up a little bit. Not real deep. That'd be 
pretty good. I took it about four inches. <laughs> Get some of the little ones in there. Come on now. There he is. Oh, came off. He came off so easy. There we go. Took my bait off. And little ones will good little bait snatchers. Let's see if you get on a bare hook. <laughs> get more bait on there. Yeah, your creek like any kind of small fish, panfish, bluegill. Creek chubs, make sure you bring plenty of bait. You got some smaller ones in there, though. They seal your bait fairly easy. Just a little chunk of night crawler on there. Be good to go. Take your time walking in here. Let's see if I can get a little closer. That was all falling in. No longer cane pull. I think I'll bring you back down here next time. To get me way out there. Bring me a 20 foot cane pole. And... I can pretty much put my bait all through this whole entire pool of water. But got him up here. We're fine. We're good. That's a nice one there. Look at that. Pretty one. Probably the one I was taking my bait, aren't you? Taking my bait. Taking my bait, aren't you? There it is. There's the camera there. There you go. <laughs> fat one. That was a fat one. Oh, not paying attention again. There you go. Oh, he came off. Next time, uh, I think I also, I'll, I will try some real small jigs. We'll try that once on the cane pole. The creek chubs. I haven't thought any doubt. I'm. Sure, I think it'll work. I think it'll work.
Oh, he took my bait. All right, guys. I think we're going to call it a day. We'll get back on here with the... We may do some jigs and different variety of baits. These creek chubs. And I'll find other creeks. Different creeks, but I really like this creek just for the sake of the sound of this in the background. Big pool. It's a beautiful place. That's just beautiful. Wow. I'm gonna stare at it. So we'll see you all next venture. And uh, really thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Jamie Miller, Two Passions Fishing. Uh, I just want to thank you all for, for subscribing, supporting this channel. And there's going to be a lot more ventures to this. Cane pole, starting out pretty basic. It's a 10 foot cane pole. I showed earlier in the other video, it came with uh, a slip bobber, small weight, eight, eight, uh, eight size hook but this is my own rig here i changed it out and put a different line on it stronger line <coughs> sneeze again <coughs> pulling count must be high <laughs> but uh i'll be i'll be doing different videos on different cane poles so as uh, my species of fish get heavier and bigger i'll use bigger cane poles and uh it's gonna be a lot of fun I think it'll be a blast this year, Lord willing. Give me the blessing to move on and carry on and live on so I can make these videos for you and bring you guys along fishing with me. So keep it fun and enjoy life and keep Christ in, li in your life uh, because he is the purpose of life, the author of life, and the hope of life, and which a lot of people are missing. A lot of people are missing. Uh, this awesomeness of life, part of life that is missing in their life, and that's Christ, the author of life. And he will give you hope, he'll give you fulfillment, contentment, satisfaction, um, everything it, everything that we're, many people in this life is chasing after, um, whether it's trying to find satisfaction and contentment in relationships and even food for that matter, food and drugs, alcohol, just try to just try to keep going each day and every every day of life and but please please stop suppressing the truth and just obey the truth of God because he is the answer he is the answer to your life and again I say he's the author of life and he's the hope Jesus is the way the truth and the life and no man comes to the father except through him so let me pray for you all and we'll get going here and uh Thank you for, especially before I even pray, I want to thank all the new viewers. If you're a new viewer, please hit subscribe, share, and like. I really appreciate, appreciate your support. And let's pray. Father, we thank you for this blessed day. Thank you for this beautiful day. And this creation, Father, to pray that we can take part of and, and, uh, and enjoy it. And fishing, and just thank you for good health. And I pray for all my viewers, pray for all my subscribers, pray for each and every one of them, Lord. Those who are tuning in now, watching my video, I pray a blessing on them, Father, right now, God, as I pray. And uh, pray that they would seek you, find you, and uh, as you uh, come into their life and just bless them and give them hope and joy and peace in their life. And I just want to pray for peace and peace of Israel. Uh, peace for all those who are watching this video. I want to thank you guys. Thank you, friends, for watching this video, supporting my channel, and uh, I appreciate you all. I love you all. Thank you. This is Jamie Miller, Two Passions Fishing. I'm out.